Hello and welcome everybody to a new video. Recently on 20th of July 2023, Sir Jeff Sonast proposed an article titled Repairing the FIDE Standard ELO Rating System and the main objective of it was directed to solve a major problem. It said the past decade has brought extreme rating deflation to the FIDE Standard ELO Rating System. Player ratings are spread apart for more than they should be and it's getting worse every year. Now FIDE had to take some strong steps to reverse the effect of this deflation and to prevent it from happening again. So to accomplish this, he proposed two major collective measures. Out of one is the one for which you have clicked on this video. Yes, it is called compression. All players rated below 2000 ELO which is bottom 85% of the rated players should be given a one time rating increase giving up to 400 ELO rating to a player on the January 2024 list. Yes, you heard it right. Up to 400 ELO rating. Now I know you would be thinking how much ELO will you get after this change? Then yes, for that there is a chart displayed on your screen right here which shows the exact formula that is 2000 minus your initial rating times 0.4 and there are also many reference data given on your screen so if you want you can take a screenshot of it. To note that the rank list would not be changed but only the spacing be uh, between two players would be changed and finally it would leave nobody below the rating of 1400. The second collective measure that is taken was calculation improvement. The minimum ELO is now going to change from 1000 to 1400 with the direct reason of deflation of rating. Secondly, the 400 point rule will be restored and can be applied any number of times in a tournament. Now, if you're wondering what is the 400 point rule, then it states that when the rating difference between two players is more than 400 points, then it would be considered as only 400 points. For example, if the rating difference is 600, then also it will be considered as 400 and the points will be altered in that way. This is done so as to protect higher rated players from losing many points when an upset takes place. Then there are also advantages as well as disadvantages for unrated players. The benefits are that, that they will, they will be credited with two hypothetical draws. Now what does this mean is that without playing any game, they will be shown that they have, uh, they have drawn against two 1800 players hypothetically. This is done so that when the unrated player gets a rating that will be accurate to its strength. Also, these hypothetical draws will not be counted on their draw list, but their hypothetical, right? And also the initial requirements of uh, beating at least five rate of playing at least five rated players in a tournament and beating a number of rated players to get a rating would remain. The disadvantage is that all the previous performances before this change takes place is ignored. So it will be a fresh start and any tournaments before 2024 you have played that won't count. And yes, this was the overview of this entire proposal by Sir Jeff Sonas. The main thing to note is this is not yet officially declared and FIDE seeks public discussion about the proposed rating changes until the 30th of September 2023. If you, have, uh, if you have any doubt or any suggestion about this, then you can mail at qualification at fide.com. It is right here on the screen and also in the description down below. And also my YouTube comments are always open for discussion. So this was for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, play chess. Goodbye. Bye bye. Is enough. I will be standing here right by your side. I will be standing here to the end of time. I will be standing here all through the night. night, night, night. To the
Oh, 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 oh,